Hey guys, it's Austin with Out Jeeping. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a fan override switch in your Jeep Cherokee XJ. So when installing a fan override switch on your Jeep Cherokee XJ, it basically means that you're going to have a manual override switch for your electric fan so you can turn it on whenever you want. So if you notice that your engine temperature is climbing up a little bit, you can flip it on and have it cool. And if you also have a transmission cooler, it can also help cool your transmission too. Now the way we're going to wire this one in today is we're actually going to leave the factory wire harness intact so that it still turns on when the uh, AC comes down and the temperature gets up in the engine. Um, so we're basically just going to tap this in so that we can turn it on whenever we want and still have the factory option. So some things we got here today for our install is we got a fuse holder, about a 30 amp, we got a few spade connectors, we have a fan override switch, basically a rocker switch, it has cooling fans, and then we got some 14 gauge wire. Another thing that you're going to need is a relay. So any relay that's like 30 or 40 amps will work. Right here I have a 30 amp relay and it should do just fine. So for our install we're going to start underneath the hood. Right here we have the wire harness that goes to the electric fan and they got two wires going into it and we're basically just going to tap into the positive wire here and we're going to do it on the electric fan side so that way we don't hack into any of the uh, factory wiring. So basically we're just going to take a wire and splice it into the positive power wire for the electric fan over here. Alright, so we got our new wire right here and we have it spliced into the power wire for our fan, which is the uh, blue one right here. That's going to be our positive. So now I'm just going to wrap this up with some electrical tape and we can plug this back in and then we can route our wire all the way over here. And about right here is where we're going to mount our relay. You can uh, take a little screw to it and mount it to the fender because they do have a little hole right here. So you probably can just put it right over there or you can just zip tie it to the wiring harness. Either way it will be fine. Now if you do have some wire loom, that would probably be best for uh, holding this in. That way it's not just uh, out in the open in the elements. You can have a little bit of wire loom or you can tuck it away in some of the factory loom right there. So now we're just going to route this all up, button it up, and then mount our relay right there. Alright, so over here I have the relay mounted on the driver's side. I got the wire going to the uh, fan and that's going to be in slot 87. And on slot 30 over here, that's going to be our fused power. So I have a power cable running all over here into our fuse holder. And then I have it connected to a positive terminal on the fuse box right over here. Now the next thing I got to do is put a ground on here. The ground is going to be number 85 and then 86 terminal. That's going to be our power from our switch inside. And so we're basically just going to have to run one wire through the firewall over here. And then we should be able to run the rest of the wires to the switch from inside. Alright so I have the relay all buttoned up underneath the hood here and the way I ran the ground is under here next to the uh, air box. They actually have a factory ground. There's a couple bolts right behind this wire harness so I just tapped it into right there and that should provide the uh, negative power for our relay. And then I have the wire going through the firewall down here. Now the previous owner ran some uh, sub wire through the uh, rubber grommet so I just tagged it along right with it and now we can go inside and wire up the power switch. Alright so now inside the Jeep we need to find out a place where we can mount our new rocker switch and right here since our Jeep did not come with any factory fog lights there's an empty spot right here so basically we're going to take this control panel out cut out a hole and then we should be able to snap in our little switch right here. Now the switch has five terminals basically the extra terminal is for uh, having the dash lights turn on and it lights up a little LED inside. Then we have our power to the relay and then main power and then a ground. So first thing I'm going to do is pull out this panel so we can mount our switch. And then as you can see over here we have our wire from inside the engine bay and it comes down right over here where our feet is so we're going to tuck this up, zip it up with the uh, factory wiring harness and lead it all the way to where we're going to put our switch. So now for this cover, basically just going to take our hands behind it and we can pull it back. That pops out of place. Then we have three Phillips screws that hold in this bottom control panel. And there's going to be two on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Alright, so as you can see there's a bunch of electrical connections. Basically just got to unplug everything and then we can take this out 
and cut it out when it's out of the Jeep so it's a lot easier. All right, so now we're just gonna cut this out. I'm gonna use a uh, razor blade and see if we can uh, cut that out and then take a file and make sure it fits perfectly and then we can snap it into place. All right, so once you get the hole all ground out, basically just take a file until it is about to fit and then we can take our switch in here and then press it in. Oh, thanks for ruining the video. All right, so now all we have to do is hook up some wires and put this all back into place. All right, so I went ahead and got all of our wires ready to plug into the switch. So down here, I have two ground wires and they have two terminals on the switch where you're gonna to need to put the ground in. And basically there's a ground for each little individual LED that's inside the light, one for the cooling fans. And then when you turn this on, it'll light up the cooling fans. So that's what the two grounds are for. And then over here, I have a main power for the switch so that this power, when it's flipped on, it will be transmitted to the relay. I basically just splice this into the cigarette adapter over here and I use the passenger side one because this one is always live and that way you can turn on the switch even though the Jeep is still off. And then over here I made another wire and I splice this into an orange wire in either the uh, switch for the rear windshield wiper or the defrost. Basically what this orange wire is is that every time you have the headlights on, the dash lights light up. That way we can have the light light up for the little LED that's in our switch. And then lastly we have our line that comes from the engine bay and this goes to the relay for our fan. Now all we have to do is plug everything back in. Alright so for terminals 8 and 7 on the rocker switch those two are going to be our grounds. So we can take our thing and plug them into place. Next wire we have is terminal 3 and that's going to go straight to our relay. So we can plug that one in. And now for terminal 7 we're going to take our wire that we use to splice for the dash lights and we're going to plug that one into place. And then lastly we have our main power which is spliced into the cigarette lighter power and that's going to go into socket 2. So now we got all the wires for our fan. We can go and test it out. And it seems like it turns on. And if we turn on the dash lights I don't know if you can see that, it might have to be a little bit darker, but it is in fact lighting up red. So now we just got to put everything back into place. Now we can take our center console cover and pop it back in. Alright, now we're all done. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's video. As you can see, it wasn't too hard to do, just a little bit time consuming, and once you get the wires figured out, it's pretty easy. So, I want to thank you guys for watching, hope you learned something, and we'll see you guys in the next video.